All right, YouTubers, in this video, we are going to update the BIOS for the ASRock Z490M-ITX-AC motherboard for 10th gen Intel CPUs and maybe one day 11th gen. So definitely at some point, uh, if this does go for 11th gen, you will most likely have to do this BIOS update, uh, though it will be a different uh, revision than what you see today. So let's uh, get going with this, all right? And hopefully everything goes smoothly. So there are uh, there are two ways to do this. We are going to do the Windows version today. I usually go through and do it through the BIOS, but we have a capture card, and so we will uh, go that route. All right. So first thing you want to do is search for the motherboard. And hopefully it'll be the first link. There it is. And I, since I am using this video capture card um, and watching it through the secondary computer, there's a little lag. So I apologize. Uh, some of you probably will complain about how slow it's going. But all right. So we come to this website and... Like I always say, there's two places where there's support on here. Uh, there's the one at the top and the one further down. You want the one that's uh, almost at the bottom of the page. And you'll see BIOS here. Uh, before we go there, though, notice uh, in the future when they do add CPUs, you can find out what's supported here uh, as well as what BIOS version. So you see that far right column that tells you which one are supported and Intel just recently added the i9 10850K um, so quite possibly it will not work out of the gate with the uh, the BIOS that you have all right as well as this is the spot where you want to go for uh, memory um, but we're here for BIOS now I can tell you that I have P1.10 or 1.10 and uh, in case you don't know how to check uh, there's a couple places one was inside the BIOS the other is just information and you'll see on the line um, I don't know 10 to 15 down it says uh, BIOS versions and date and you see on that one, American Megatrends Incorporated P1.10, April 2020. Okay, so since we verified that, we can go back over here, and there have been uh, new BIOS updates added. Okay, so. We want to do um, the newest version. One thing to do, though, before you do that, sometimes it will tell you that you have to do an older BIOS before you can new, do the newest. Um, so it's good to read that description and see what it says. So none of these say that they have to be done first before you do the latest. And then now that latest is going to be cumulative. So it'll take the best of the prior ones. And let's go ahead. So there's a uh, how-to PDF here if you need it, if you really don't like what you're hearing from me. Um, we're going to go ahead and download this file. And there's probably going to be tons of uh, files when I go to open this. All right, so sorry for the delay there. The file is down here, and uh, we'll put uh, show in folder. That brings this up. Now I want to right mouse click on it to extract all, okay, because it's a zip file. And voila, there it is. So um, at this point, we are going to double click on the uh, application to start this process. All right, so it is, um, 
one of the things it's going to tell you is to shut all your applications off, which we have. And now potentially this uh, may screw up my screen. Uh, so we may, hopefully we won't miss anything. Uh, the monitor I'm using has got some issues. Otherwise I would, I would use a camera to uh, record if something happens. So fingers crossed that the capture card will uh, continue to pick this up. So let's go ahead. Here's our file. Double click on that. And oh, this brings us to a point. Do a weather check. Uh, make sure the weather's good. No hurricanes, tornadoes, flooding, natural disasters, earthquakes, etc. Um, high winds. You know, if there's any threat that you could lose power, uh, this is one of those issues where you should be worried and not actually follow through with this. Now, if you have a battery backup, that would be even better. Uh, most people do not, though. So, uh, since we don't have that, let's go ahead. Um, we don't have any issues. The, the weather is just absolutely beautiful here in Honolulu, by the way, uh, in case you're in some crappy location, uh, or the weather's crappy where you're at, I should say. Not a crappy location, but all right. We're going to go ahead and hit yes. Before update a BIOS, that, that's like bad English there. Before update a BIOS, please close all application. Make sure you are not overclocking your system. Overclocking your system. Okay. Well, that's a good question. Now, in this case, I have an i5 10400, so we are definitely not overclocking. My other Z490 is another question. Do you want to continue? Okay. And so it's going through this reading flash, yada, yada, yada. This will take a while, folks. Um, so I will probably do a BIOS update video for the other aspect going through the BIOS um, as well. System is going to shut down. Are you ready? Oh, we're ready. No doubt. Let's go ahead and hit the Y button on the keyboard. Boom. So this will uh, boot back up eventually if we're lucky. Now, if you follow these instructions to the T, you shouldn't have any problems, okay? There will be those individuals out there that have do have problems. Now, whether it is uh, hardware or the person doing it, I can't tell you, but uh, um, hopefully you will not have any problems. It's honestly my biggest fear when I do these, that something will go wrong. And we have, uh, we just got this from... Amazon, by the way, uh, link down below in case you want to buy it. It helps support the channel. There's my advertisement. Um, but yeah, I just got this. So if there are any problems, this thing will be going back to Amazon. Um, but I'm so far, I'm pretty happy with this motherboard, folks. I haven't, I haven't overclocked anything on it uh, yet. But uh, just the fact that I can have higher RAM speeds was enough of a reason to get it. Wi-Fi built into it, um, that, you know, is another big bonus. Uh, in the fact that this thing is so small, I mean, in a itty-bitty box, I can basically put the power supply and this motherboard and some bubble wrap and other stuff to, you know, keep it safe. Carry a keyboard and a mouse with me, and I've got a awesome computer. Oh, yeah, and plus the graphics card. All right, so you see it's rebooting, rebooting. Now, if we get to the login screen, we'll probably be good. So I think in this video, what we'll do is instead of looking at sysinfo, we're going to um, go back into the BIOS after it boots all the way up. Assuming it does. So this is a little scary, folks. It's just kind of hanging there. And, you know, the other thing that I should have mentioned is uh, while this is going on, don't touch your computer, okay? 
wait until either it asks you a question, like that a little bit ago when it asked me to put a Y in or an N, uh, or when you get to the point where it logs in. Um, usually, you know, it can it can boot one time, two times, three times. Uh, at this point, we want to wait till it gets to the login screen. And this should be okay. So here's the thing um, that uh, I did not mention, but it's uh, kind of important. Whenever you do these BIOS updates, sometimes your computer will um, do some funky things with your uh, drives. So in this case, um, it's having issues figuring out which one's which. Uh, worst case scenario, it no longer recognizes the M.2s, and that would be a bad thing. So uh, it says press any key. We're not going to do that. We're going to reboot. We'll reboot. And uh, Okay, looks like we're going to have to do the manual way, folks. So what I need to do is go into the BIOS and check the boot priority. All right, so while this is booting up, I'm jamming on a delete key. Uh, we want to get in that BIOS. Oh, look at that. It booted up. So that's odd. Um, that is odd that that happened, but hey, we're, uh, we're in. I could now log in if I want to, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to reboot this thing. And we'll go look at the uh, we'll go look at the BIOS. Now this time, hopefully, I will catch it. Jamming on F two or delete. Okay, so. Looking over on the boot priority, we're good because we had a Samsung EVO 960 as our um, boot drive. It has the OS on it. Uh, so that aspect's good. The RAM is, uh, the RAM may be questionable whether it's performing at 3200 or 2666. Um, yeah, it looks like that has reset. So uh, things to check. I want to go back to profile one. Okay. Now, if you have RAM that is not compatible, um, that's another story for you. And now the other thing to see here, folks, is upper left. Um, we were at P1.10. Now we're at P1.30. So everything's good. Now I'm going to uh, switch to advanced mode and exit. Save changes and exit. It'll show me what I changed. Yes. And that's going to do it for this video, folks. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.